After Samsung, Apple and HTC showed off their yearly flagships, it's LG's turn to replace the G3 and face its rivals head-on. We liked the curved G-Flex too, but it was just the appetizer before the main course. The LG G4 is here with a new IPS quantum display, 16 megapixel camera with a bright f1.8 aperture and new leather back covers. But how does it stack up? I'm Bogey for GSM Arena and this is the LG G4 review. At first, the LG G4 appears very similar to its predecessor. All the buttons and ports are in the same places, so upgrades will have a seamless transition. The power and volume keys are back-mounted once again, and the navigation buttons are on-screen, leaving the chin of the phone void of controls. The LG G4 is a bit taller and wider than the G3 with sharper corners. The device is just 6 grams heavier though, and is slightly curved so it sits more comfortably in the hand and doesn't lie completely flat on the table. Thankfully, LG has capped the removable battery and microSD expansion, both of which will make power users happy. The LG G3 was one of the first smartphones to use a QHD screen, but we found it lacking in contrast. The new IPS quantum display on a G4 brings nearly doubled contrast levels. The ample 5.5-inch panel offers nicely saturated colors, while the brightness has retained its good level. Outdoors, the LG G4 display is easily the better performer as well. The LG G4 is still housed with a plastic frame and comes as standard with a plastic back cover. But for a small premium, you could easily swap it for a genuine leather one. You get a choice of either smooth or rough leather and both offer a real stitch in the middle. Color options include black, brown and red. The plastic cover is textured to imitate hone metal resulting in a prism-like finish. However, a single touch is enough for you to realize this isn't metal. The leather finish is softer and more refined, the slight roughness of the surface adds a premium feel and we couldn't help ourselves from running a finger over the genuine stitching. We found the LG G4 to be less slippery with the leather back as well. While not as drastic as the G Flex 2, the LG G4's curve makes it comfortable to talk on despite the large 5.5 inch footprint. Unlocking the LG G4 is as simple as a double tap on the screen. The phone quickly lights up revealing the lock screen with a few app shortcuts. The interface is colorful with plenty of flat material design elements like the card style app switcher and the notification shade covering just half of the screen. LG's dual window allows you to use two apps on one screen which is very handy. The interface is very responsive but the choice of compatible apps isn't as wide as on Samsung's competing service. One of the home screens is reserved for LG's Smart Bulletin. It shows information from LG's health app and smart tips on the phone's features. LG's Q-Slide floating apps allow you to watch a video or browse your calendar without opening the full screen app. You can easily make the window smaller and even transparent. Glance view can show the clock and notifications even when the phone is locked. The LG G4 comes with one of the coolest Android galleries. Timeline view shows all of your photos by day, month or year and you can pinch to make thumbnails bigger. The gallery also lets you sync photos from various cloud services like Google Drive and Dropbox. Built around a 6-core Snapdragon 808 chipset and 3GB of RAM, the LG G4 is fast and didn't run into stutters while we were playing with it. It boasted benchmarks similar to the 8-core Snapdragon 810 but was easily outmatched by the design of Severphone 20 in the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. For gaming, the LG G4 isn't a big improvement over the LG G3, posting similar frames per second. Last year's LG G3 managed only average battery life and sadly, the LG G4 isn't an improvement. It delivers decent results in our browser test, but below average cold time considering the ample battery. Where the LG G4 really excels is the camera. Not only an improvement over its predecessor, the LG G4 16 megapixel camera is easily one of the best around. LG has gone with a bigger image sensor, a wider 16x9 field of view, and improved optical image stabilization with one axis more than the LG G3. But undoubtedly the biggest improvement is the bright f1.8 aperture, which coupled with OIS means the LG G4 can capture better images in low light. You can quickly open up the camera with a double press on the volume down button. On the software side, the LG G4 has a full manual shooting mode that grants precise control over white balance as well as ISO, focus and shutter speed. The LG G4 supports shooting in RAW using the popular DNG format, allowing you to get more out of photos and post-processing. LG G4 images come out extremely sharp and with superb detail. Thanks to the dedicated color spectrum sensor, white balance was spot on and colors appear natural and accurate. Focusing wasn't on point a couple of times, but mostly didn't disappoint. In low light scenes, the software can sometimes apply destructive noise reduction, but detail is still overall good. The LG G4 can capture great panoramas up to a whopping 100 megapixel with a clear stitching and solid exposure. The 8 megapixel front facing camera has some neat software tricks. You can prompt it to take a selfie with gesture shot. 
performing the gesture twice will prompt for selfies in a sequence. You can also take a selfie by saying cheese, smile or kimchi. Selfies are good and the camera is wide enough to easily capture more of the scene. You can capture 4K video with the LG G4 which is unsurprisingly great. However, focus hunted way too much during record. Full HD videos come out very good but aren't the sharpest around. With its improved G4, LG looks better than ever, but also faces its toughest competition yet. Other flagships have gotten more premium while LG retains the mostly plastic build. But solo moves like the ever so slight curve and the leather back go a long way. We would have liked to have seen better battery performance and processing to match the best on the market, but to be fair, neither is a deal breaker. The quantum display is big, sharp and beautiful, while the new 60 megapixel camera is rivaled by few. On these merits alone, we easily recommend the LG G4 to anyone looking for a great smartphone.